ambassadors, congressmen, colleagues, friends, Carlos, thank you. I am pleased to join you here today for the opening of these two powerful exhibi exhibitions that are looking at some of the greatest challenges facing out our region. The history, culture, and life of our hemisphere is breathtaking in its diversity. The stories of our people are intertwined with their experiences of hope, of tragedy, and of triumph. <clears throat> These experiences are reflected in and communicated through the work of great artists who have memorialized our history. Artistic expression and the freedom of expression are among our most fundamental civil and political rights. It is only right to let people give voice to their thoughts and beliefs and communicate their ideas. It is how we all express our identity, tell our stories, and share our experiences. This is a right that is enshrined in both the Inter-American Declaration of Human Rights and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is also reaffirmed in the Democratic Charter as not only the right to hold our own ideas, but to listen and hear the ideas of others and share information freely and without interference. It is also the right that protects us when we need to speak up against injustice. These works of art are powerful and uncomfortable. They show the work of artists who struggle to communicate the heartbreak and fears they experience living under dictatorships that not only disregard the suffering of their people, but also its very cause. In Venezuela, the country has crumbled under the weight of an authoritarian regime that has been willing to devastate a country in order to hold into power. Widespread schemes of grand corruption and systematic gross mismanagement has created unprecedented migration and humanitarian crisis. Citizens have been subject to widespread abuses and crimes against humanity as the rule of law has been all but eliminated. The art here shows what is mere shadow of the vibrant people and cities that once made up Venezuela. For the Cuban people, these images are vo of voices shouting to be heard. The freedom of expression has long been a challenge in the country as journalists have long faced a reality of arbitrary detention and torture for documenting and publicizing anything perceived to be critical of the revolution. The 2018 decree 349 imposed by the Cuban regime sought to silence those who aim to communicate through art. It required government approval for an artist, musician, writer, or performance to share their work, empowering government officials to shut down performances and size exhibits at will, all in the name of protecting Cuban revolutionary values. The past August, threatened by a population who showed the courage to protest, they introduced the Cree 35 that effectively seeks to shut down the internet when anything affects the public mor morality or respect of public order once again in the name of defending the revolution. This was a revolution fought in the name and spirit of empowering the people. And now its intent is silencing and erasing the experiences of those within it. The OES is proud to support the exercise of freedom of expression today with a moving collection of images. Art and these artistic voices are needed more than ever to protect the civic space and strengthen democracy, not to mention exposing the truths of repression. I would like to acknowledge each of the artists who have contributed to these two exhibits. We thank you for your courage and sharing your experiences with us. I would also like to acknowledge the artists in Cuba that remain in jail after the July protest, including Luis Manuel Otero Alcantara, whose images are among those included in these walls. 
we must seize the, every opportunity to promote their art and their ideas. This commitment is of the utmost urgency when we are speaking of the people of Cuba and Venezuela, whose government seeks to stamp out these voices and prevent their people from sharing their experiences with the world. We must make clear that this type of restrictions not only serve to suffocate <coughs> creative freedom of the people of the Americas, but they are a viol violation of their fundamental rights. It is an honor to stand with you today as artists, as politicians, diplomats, and private individuals who are dedicated to the preservation and restoration of the fundamental freedoms that are the core to what makes us who we are as people. I would also like to acknowledge the hard work of Carlos Ponce and the Victims of Communist Foundation and Monica Leroy in bringing these exhibitions together, as well as the contributions of the Umbrella Art Foundation and our staff here at the Art Museum of the, uh, of the Americas for their technical assistance in bringing these exhibitions to light. Estas imágenes que vemos acá, cada uno, cada una contiene el dolor de los pueblos, contiene la esperanza de la gente, contiene el deseo de luchar por la libertad. Cada una de estas imágenes nos muestra lo fracasado de dos sistemas revolucionarios, entre comillas, porque ninguna revolución puede dejar a la gente con menos derechos que antes. Cada una de estas fotografías es la fiel imagen del fracaso de esas revoluciones, del fracaso de esos sistemas y del dolor que esos sistemas causan a sus pueblos. Cada una de estas fotografías nos gritan democracia, nos gritan libertad, Y por cada una de estas fotografías, por cada una de las personas fotografiadas, por cada uno de los artistas que ha documentado esto, debemos redoblar todos en cada lugar en que estemos nuestro esfuerzo de que los pueblos de Venezuela y Cuba vuelvan a ser libres. Gracias.